Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi. Today, on this beautiful Friday, the 31st of March, already the last day of this month, so we are going to close this month today. A TA video on Bitcoin showing you a few amazing charts that I haven't shown you before, and a few of them are teaching you to zoom out in a very special way so you really understand where we are and why you should probably be buying Bitcoin now instead of selling. I know a lot of you want to be shorting Bitcoin at the moment, but be aware of the things that I will show you on this video today. Now, quickly jump into the first chart over here. Bam, bam. There is my mini UDD again, guys. Now, um, let's see. We have the four hour chart. On the four hour chart, we can see that we have been going sideways already now since the 19th of March. So we had a huge run that was on the uh, 18th of March and then into the 19th, we started to go sideways, always sideways. It was every time the move, 27 to 28 to 27 to 28. Again, we moved yesterday to 28,700 and again, we are coming down a little bit. But if you look to the right side, you can see the volume being created. It's becoming more and more at this area. So the support that we are receiving here is becoming bigger as well so let's see what's going to happen if we fall further down we first fall to the red line here in the middle which is 27800 and if we break that support we could fall to the green level 27300 and if we break that level of support we could find fall to the bottom of this bollinger band 20, 26600 but i don't see this happening i really believe that we are very slowly want to work up to the 28,720 level that we need to break and that we will break it because there is less and less and less selling pressure and less selling pressure means the more we are possible to break it. It was a short over there by the bam bam indicator but there was a lot of green so I would have never taken that short and the white line was pointing upward still so I would never take that short guys so for me that was a non-tradable short. Now zoom out. We zoom out to the daily chart. On the daily chart, we've been watching um, that dotted line uh, for some time. I know you broke it and we retested and we went up again. On the daily, you can also see uh, very beautifully why we are running into this level of resistance. If you took, look to the left, always look to the left. There was a lot of um, support on that line over here. You can see it here. We touched that line here. We broke it and we retested. That level is an important level. And it will take some time to break. And when we break it, we will run into the next level of resistance and that's that next dotted line and that is around 33 34 thousand and if we come to that line yes we could come back and retest it again and then break that line and go to the next line all these moves in bitcoin are possible but you need to learn to zoom out and i'm going to show you quickly in the next couple of charts why now the monthly that is this chart guys uh, the monthly is going to uh, close today so that means it's a very important day for the monthly uh, what are we going to do is it going to close beautifully as that we are now at the moment you can see that we are now at the level of 28,000, 28,100. Uh, this green candle over there, that's the monthly candle that we will close. If we close above the 200 weekly moving average, like I've been saying, it's very, very, very positive. That red line, the 200 weekly, has been positive all through the history of Bitcoin. And every time we bounce from it, or we break it and then again find support in it, it becomes your support line for the whole next bull run, which is very important. We need to close above it, which we are doing. We need to stay above 25,459 in the next 21 hours. I do think we will stay above it. And if you look to the RSI in the bottom, you can see why I am so bullish on the monthly. Every time we come to that bottom and we break that green line, we will see a couple of months in upward movement. And I think it will take all the way up to two years in 2025, where we will see the bull run top. Also in the bottom, the MACD, look, do the free, dark red to light red, smaller, smaller, smaller. We will slowly move into this green area again, which will be the bull run of 2024, 25, guys. Now, now zoom out a little bit more. This is the chart I shared on Twitter yesterday. Um, this is the weekly chart. So zoomed in a little bit more, but this one is showing you exactly how the cycle of Bitcoin has been moving in the last couple of years. 
and why you shouldn't be freaking out, but why you should be buying Bitcoin. I'm going to show you a few more charts that will show you exactly the same, but now um, this one is very uh, simple. So you have a high risk moment of buying and you have a low risk moment of buying. Low risk moment of buying means if you buy around that area, you will probably be making profit in the next couple of years. High risk will be buying at the moment that you will probably lose the next couple of years. Now, you can see high risk, low risk, low risk, high risk, low risk. At the moment we are here, we are in this low risk area. I can't make it more clear. We are here, there. That's a low risk area. We just had a bear market crash of 75%. This is the moment you should be buying Bitcoin. We are above that yellow line. Very important. These two lines, these two colorful lines there that you can see, it's the green and the blue. Green is the copy of the 2017 bull run. Blue is the copy of the 2020 bull run. This is how Bitcoin could be moving the next couple of years all the way here to September top. And then the next time you will be able to buy at the low risk opportunity will be somewhere here in 2026 27 so i would not be waiting till that time because after a bull month market top in september 2025 you will get 12 months all the way to 26 bear market and then before we go positive again a little bit so giving you the chance to buy on a good moment would be around 27 january february march you don't want to waste another four years waiting for that moment you want to buy today this is where we are the low risk area of investing into bitcoin and these two lines are just an example of how high we could go 190k and the blue line 120k let's see maybe it will be a less sharp bull market only to 90k but from 25 or 28 to 90 is still tripling your investment Okay, now let's go to those other charts that are very interesting to see. Um, the first one is, bam, this one. This is a glass note chart. You can see um, the phases, the capitulation, hope, optimism, belief, denial, all that stuff over there, guys. Um, the important part that you need to understand is, this red part is the capitulation. That was before the bull market started in 2019. This red part over here, all in red, is the capitulation. That is the bear market of 2022. When orange and yellow starts, there's an indication of that we are getting more bullish. And orange means that there is more hope. And from that orange, we will go into yellow. And the yellow means optimism. And from that optimism, we will go into green. Green over here, you see. And that is that huge bull market. So we are nearing that huge yellow area over here that one and that is a very important area to get in to get the most out of the profits there <clears throat> you can also see that over here the bitcoin cycle very important you can see the halvings over there the halving was always higher than the moment where we are now this is where we are now look here the halving was higher so for example at the moment we are here in the first epoch and the halving we were higher at the moment we were there and in the halving we were higher at the moment we were here and at the halving we were higher now we are at 28000 the halving we will be higher probably around 40 to 45k so yes a moment to start buying bitcoin do you have any other cool uh, charts yes this one over here now i will put my face for this one on the good place sorry for that um this is also showing the simplified version of what i just showed you on that weekly chart this one is showing you you have 1k over there top 200 bottom 20k top 3k bottom 70k top 15k bottom we are now here we are meeting that dotted line and when we meet that dotted line it's a very important line and there's a sideways movement that we will be doing and then the 2024 halving will be the acceleration bam to that new all-time high and all the high is not price related but it's just the cycles how we have been moving buying in this area is always positive if you look at the history of bitcoin now bam then we have this chart over here also really simplified but showing you very powerful where we are in the cycle and why you should be buying at the moment guys i can't make it more clear but look these areas over here 
this is the cycle bottom area and from that cycle bottom area there's not one time in history that bitcoin from that area did this for all of them did that and that's what you see over here we can see that the first time over there we had 513 times the price of the cycle bottom then we had 112 times the price of the cycle bottom and now last year we went 21 times because we were at 3k bottom times 21 so you come around 70k so even if we go from this times only five times to the uh, five times the bottom cycle 15k we would end at 75k if you go 10 times the cycle bottom we would end at 150k that's how simple it works Whatever you do at the moment, I don't think that if you invest now, it could lead into loss. I think it can only lead into profits for the next one and a half to two years, guys. Very powerful chart. And that's what we also see over here. And that is one of the most important charts in Bitcoin, of course, as well. Because this one is showing you um, that it is taking less and less and less Bitcoins to have the whole global wealth expressed in Bitcoin. So, yes... When Bitcoin started, uh, at that moment, we needed a quintillion amount of Bitcoins to put all the global wealth in it. And that went to 100 quadrillion, and to 1 quadrillion, and to 100 trillion, and to 10 trillion, and to 1 trillion, and to 100 billion Bitcoins, and to 10 billion Bitcoins, and to 1 billion Bitcoins, and to 100 million Bitcoins. And at the end, it will end at 21 million Bitcoins. Of course, these amounts of Bitcoins don't exist, but it's just expressing in the terms of the Bitcoin price at that moment how many Bitcoins it would need or require to put the full capital of the worldwide wealth in it. And now we are getting closer and closer to the 21 million Bitcoin that is needed to have all the capital worldwide in Bitcoin. Okay, I think it's a very cool chart. Now, um, that was really bam, bam and bam everything for today i hope you really enjoyed this video if you did enjoy this video then give the video a thumbs up share it with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell leave a comment what do you think about these charts what do you think about that moment over there are you buying are you buying you should be buying because you want to have that profit to that thanks for watching hopefully see you tomorrow again on beautiful saturday and then i will probably be happy announcing the beautiful close of today's candle and month thank you for watching see you tomorrow Bam!